Wow, what's going on, everyone? Sports fans, Chiefs Kingdom, this is Calvin X. Baker TV here. Once again, so time for another prediction video as it is this Sunday night. We have the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday night football in week 11. And, well, this should be a great game, hopefully. Uh, Chiefs and the Chargers. Basically, ever since the Chiefs have had Patrick Mahomes and the Chargers have had Justin Herbert, these two have put up some great games and they've all been nail biting games ever since Herbert came in the league. Uh, and yeah, and uh, well, we beat the Chargers back in week two, 27. 24, I believe, and of course, in that game, we had that 99-yard interception return for a touchdown by rookie Jalen Watson, and uh, yeah, the Chargers are 5-4, uh, and four, I believe, uh, yeah, 5-4, f f and four. Chiefs are 7-2, and two. we're coming up. 27-17 win over the Jacksonville Jaguars, and another great performance from Patrick Mahomes. Uh, and Kadarius Tony scored his first touchdown as a Chief, and overall his fourth first NFL touchdown. And, well, there was some early miscues, but we were able to hang on and get the win over uh, a Jaguars team that played pretty hard and a great effort. Uh, and well, in this game, Chiefs will be without uh, two key receivers. Juju Smith Schuster is out with the concussion and concussion protocol. Took a scary hit from uh, Jaguars safety Andre Sisco last week. And yeah, he left the game after that. And Yes, he'll be out and will be without uh, McCall Hardman in this game as well for a second straight week. And Hardman actually is on injured reserve, which means he will be out for at least the next four games. Uh, he has a an abdomen injury, so that's a bit of a major loss losing Hardman uh, and Juju as well. So we'll have Marquez Valdez Scantling as basically our top re receiver, and of course, as well as Tyna Travis Kelsey and uh, rookie Sky Moore uh, and Kadarius Tony and Justin Watson as well. So we'll be without a number of a uh, number of receivers, uh, and well, this Chargers team is five and four. They actually played last Sunday night as well, losing to the 49ers, 22 to 16. Uh, and Justin Herbert aver averages close to 300 yards a game. And last week, uh, he didn't even throw for 200, 196 yards. Uh, and yeah, and in the game, between these two in week two, uh, Herbert threw for 334 yards, Mahomes 235. Uh, and yeah, Herbert has uh, 2,400 yards, top 10 in the league, 14 touchdowns. Uh, Mahomes leading the league in passing. And yeah, the last time. We played the Chargers in L.A., which was last December. It was a nail-biting, thrilling game. Back and forth game, Chiefs eventually won it in overtime. Uh, I think it was like 30-24, to 24, something like that. Travis Kelsey scored the game-winning touchdown. And, yeah, that, that was a major loss for the Chargers, because if they would have won, they probably would have won the division. So... And the Chiefs, well, we are running away 
with the AFC West again uh, as the Broncos and Raiders uh, each. The Raiders have two wins, the Broncos have three. They're facing each other tomorrow and very surprised of how poorly the Broncos and Raiders have been uh, with Broncos coach having Russell Wilson, who's having probably his worst season, and yeah, uh, and Chargers, I believe, will still be without their top receivers, Keenan Allen and uh, Mike Williams. Uh, Keenan Allen has actually been out for most of the season. Uh, with numerous injuries, uh, they do have running back and receiver Austin Eckler, who has six touchdowns. So, yeah, this should be a great game. It was originally supposed to be played uh, at, th at three, uh, but a couple weeks ago, the league moved it to moved it up to the Sunday night game. So, the original Sunday night game was supposed to be the Bengals and the Steelers. That was moved to the 325 slot. So, and, yeah, we're 7-2. We can go to 8-2 with the win. We have currently the top seed in the AFC. And our schedule after this game is, you know, not, not terribly hard. Uh, we host the Rams next Sunday, which the defending Super Bowl champions are very banged up, uh, have only three wins. Then we have three straight road games at the Bengals, Broncos, and Texans. Uh, so, the game against Cincinnati should be interesting. And then, yeah, we still have to play the Broncos twice. We close out the year at the Raiders. So, I could see us going... You can see us going 14 and 3. So, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to say Chiefs will win in this one. I'm going to say 28 24. I think it's going to be another high scoring game, uh, like these two teams always seem to put up. So, anyway, until Sunday, Countess Biggers saying, Go Chiefs.